Hello, my friends. We are in Winston-Salem, North Carolina today for the Inside Pitch Promotions Toy Show. And they have sports cards and stuff like that you can uh, buy. But uh, I'm here mainly for the toys. You know, it's here. It's near Christmas time now. Yeah, it was Christmas without toys. I'm really into the nostalgia, stuff I used to have, things I wanted when I was a kid. So we're going to find some stuff here. Also, there are some wrestlers here, too. I think Scott Steiner is here. Jerry Lawler is here. And uh, Jimmy Valiant, which you've seen in past videos with me. All right, guys. So let's go check this out. And it's free parking. We're here at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds. And uh, I think it's $5 to get in, so it's not too bad. And they've got a lot of good vendors here, too. I always love coming here to these shows. And this is the end-of-the-year show. Uh, it's always the uh, December show. Then we'll pick back up in 2023. And we were here last year. And it's in the same room as it was before. Well, facility. It's huge. <laughs> it's almost like an aircraft hangar place is massive and there's a lot of vendors here so it looks like a lot of the cards are on the right as you come in and then on the left all your toys and collectibles right over here and right off the bat of course you see these wonderful vintage toys here top along cassidy dean autry oh, it's old guns and holsters yeah he's always got some great stuff here check that out he's got some uh, old hop along cassidy looks like uh stuff for parties for your kid party right there you got the stuff at the table napkins the old dixie cup style cups yeah this is l i just love this stuff you got these old uh marks toys here too check all these out and the old tin buildings a lot of cabins and i love this right here and there's the creature crate creature from the black lagoon and i love this train here that's pretty cool puff puff kind of skim along here to see all these finished toys here these old finger puppets here all kinds of great stuff yeah, all these lovely tin toys you just don't find anymore anywhere you gotta come to these toy shows and get them these are great here just want to kind of soak it in for you guys to see all these lovely vintage toys back in the 40s even back in the 30s some of these check out this mickey mouse wow that is awesome and then along here, you got some more cool toys. Yeah, check it out. Of course, you get your Ninja Turtles. <laughs> but up here is all your vintage stuff here. Look at this. This is great. My three sons from Rimco. Check it out. The babies. I used to love that show. You got some old Mark stuff here, too. And Land of the Giants. That is so cool. And of course, you get some more Marx figures here. Then, of course, your vintage G.I. Joes. Check that out. It goes with your Marx toys there. The old uh, Johnny West buckboard with Thunderbolt the horse. Pretty neat. And over here, he's got more Marx toys. And he's got the uh, all the horses. Check out the smaller ones here. Those are cool. Love those. And I do collect the Marx stuff. So I might end up getting maybe something today. We'll see. Yeah, look at all these guys. And you still have the boxes over here. Here's old Jane West. I don't have Jane yet. Maybe one of these days. There, oh, look over here. There's Cheeseburglar right there. And the talking tree. Yeah, Cheeseburglar. And just a wall of toy goodness all through here. Look at all these old Barbies up there. He's got new stuff too. And then uh, over here, looks like he's got a Pulsar. Yeah, he's got the Pulsar kit. I think I had that at one time. About in the 70s there. Mid, late 70s. Yeah. It's great. Just love sharing all this stuff with you guys. It probably brings back some stuff for you guys. Check that out. Kind of looks like the $6 million man rocket. I'm not quite sure what that is. It's a different scale for sure. Of course you get your pops. And then over here, more G.I. Joes. Right here. Oh, he's got monster mags. I'm going to have to go through these. He looks pretty cool. Biker mice. I'm not sure what that's from, but he does look cool. $100 for him. Of course, you got your Captain Planet figures here. Then your miscellaneous Toy Biz figures here. All along there. 
and be sure to check your glass cases because you'll find some cool figures like that Evil Knievel. I love that. You got some of the old uh, Star Wars figures and the old Indiana Jones figures. More classics up here. Oh, everybody's had one of these guys. <laughs> the old chimp with the uh, tambourines going off. Yeah, I'm just looking all through this stuff. Oh, he's got the old Planet of the Apes Miko figures here. Very nice. I think the whole set just about. I love that. Old models. Here's some old vintage Indiana Jones figures there. More cars. Got this Dalmatian playing the drums. But yeah, just look carefully on all these shelves. And I always go through these right here to look for uh, Lord of the Rings figures that I might not have. And if you notice too, they're the way you tell by the movie is not just by the title, but the colors get blue for uh, Return of the King, uh, and always kind of the reddish, brownish, auburn color for Two Towers, and then green will be for the uh, Fellowship. Check that out. And I love this right here, Snap Crackle, and there's Pop. Doesn't have Snap and Crackle. Of course, they're from Rock Hill, North Carolina, and there's Pinocchio. More Barbies. More Classics. Look at all this toy goodness. I just love it. It's going through all this stuff. I love these right here. The old uh, plastic molds here. The figures. Very cool. Look at the knights. Looks like James Bond right there. I'm not quite sure. And you got more in these little showcases here too. So be sure to check those out. The all kinds of cool figures. Yeah, these are so awesome. Of course, we had our Green Army men. I had these guys, too. The German ones here. These are by Marks. Those are Marks figures right there. I, I had a ton of those. I get the presidents here, too. But it looks like these are all Marks figures. You get the old dinosaurs, also. So much to go through. Looking at these guys. Look at the Predator here. And some of these old... I think it's our McFarlane. Yeah, those are cool looking. Look at this guy. That's pretty creepy right there. You know, the Witcher figures, which I've been collecting. I got all those. Yeah, they're so cool. Got old Godzilla there too. Tons of Ninja Turtles. It's also got Tom Clark gnomes right here. And they're just five dollars each. That's actually uh, not a bad deal. And there's my friend Jeff. He doesn't know I'm filming him, but he's chit chatting over there with some customers. Yeah, I always see Jeff's booth. He's always got really cool stuff. Kind of like this uh, Snoopy radio right here. And of course, Jeff has the vintage Burger King Star Wars glasses here too, but he's got a bunch of other ones, including that King Kong. Uh, there's Burger King right there. Yeah, he's got old sorted uh, glasses here from uh, good old days. And check out this like Donald Duck right there, driving that uh, GTO. And of course, we got the Star Wars store. He's here with all his vintage Star Wars wear. And he's got some really good deals, too. He's got a great selection. You've seen him in past videos of mine. But, yeah, he's got a nice collection of Star Wars and also modern-day stuff. As you can see here, the Black Series, which is real popular right now. And uh, they make beautiful figures. Got a bunch down here, too. Check those out. And he's got some over here, too. Yeah, look at all these guys. Yeah, I love the Black Series figures. Loving that Charlie McCartney right there. But look at, there's Captain Hook and Gogru. And there's a Teletubby right there. He's stuck on the top. Of course, you got your Transformers here. You got in box and open box. You got comics here, so you'll find comic books too. But he's got a nice selection of Transformers. Like I said, he's got a lot of the vintage ones in these bags, open boxes. But you're still going to pay a good amount because they're hard to find. Tons of more Transformers here. Transmetals too. All kinds of different characters. Look at this Halloween here. That's a hard one to find right there. But he's got a great selection here. Check out the trains that there are Transformers. But yeah, he's uh, specialized in Transformers for sure. Just, just an assortment of them. Go along here. See more and more of them. I'm sure you'll recognize some of these. And I'm sure you'll probably see some you probably need in your collection and of course you can have your die cast cars right here check all these out they're also great for if you're into model train you know scale trains yeah because a lot of these will look very realistic they'll be great for your uh, train set to you know decorate and have your little villages and towns that your train goes through 
that's what they're pretty popular for as well. And of course you can find some of your classic wrestling figures here. Very nice. This, and then you get to look carefully to, through all these toys because you're going to find really unique collectibles on these tables. Yeah, check all these out. Very nice. Uh, and you got your, looks like your reproduction one, Migos here, of your favorite characters from your TV shows. And look at all these wonderful Lego figures. I got the Sesame Street right there. You got the Simpsons. You got the Marvel or Star Wars. She's got everything here. Look at all these guys. And here is some more vintage goodness. Look at all this giant crane. I had a neighbor when I was a kid. He had one of those. That was a pretty cool toy to play with. You know, Robbie the Robot here. He's 65. Man, look at all these. I actually used to collect, when I was a kid, I collected all those die class, all those die cast, uh, jets and die class. Um, here's some more vintage Disney toys here. Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. This is great. I love all these. Oh, Tom and Jerry. Check him out. Pan Puppet. There's a bobblehead Donald Duck right there. Looking cool. There's some more Green Army Men from Marks. Another Charlie McCartney right here. Puppet. More wonderful tin toys. I love these. Every now and then I will pick one up. Just really have to catch my eye. I mean, always catch my eye. I've been looking at him. He still has it. He has the uh, Pluto right there. That's very cool. Yeah, I love these. These are great. And more uh, toy guns. Hopalon Cassidy, Gene Autry. These are great. Got some great stuff here. Oh, check that out. Beverly Hillbillies. That is so cool. It's like full scale. <laughs> that is so nice. Never seen that before. We got more here. I just love looking through all these things. And check out that pedal push car. Old jalopy right there. That's pretty neat. Then you've also got uh, some of these old uh, tin train sets right here. That looks awesome. You got some of the old tin soldiers right here. You got the Cinderella carriage. Very cool. And then you got this horse. And these are frightening. Wow. Look at these. And I've just completed my set of the Beetleborgs. He's got almost an entire set here. That's very cool, but he's got all kinds of cool assorted figures all along here. Yeah, I love these. And he's also got tons of boxes. You get some really good deals when you go through the boxes. He'll give you a good deal on them. Yeah, look at all these figures. Ooh, great. And he's also got the carded one as well. Yeah, check all that out. You got to sift through it, but you will find some cool figures in there. I found a few things in the past too. I might go through it today. And also, don't forget, you still have your comic books here. And of course, more diecast, which I love. I used to collect the heck out of it. I got a pretty good sized collection of diecast. But they're getting more and more popular again too. People are collecting the heck out of them. And of course, your Hot Wheel uh, collectors are out there in numerous amounts. So. Still walking down this way. I'm in the second aisle now. Yeah, check all this stuff out. All kinds of vendors here. And I love this scale right here because you can do a huge scale model of towns, stuff like that for your uh, trains. Yeah, I mean, they don't see a little small, small. And you got the other scale right here, which I like too. And more wonderful die casts here. Of course, you got to get a shot of, of all these different models of cars that you can get. All well, the old station wagons, too. The old uh, Buicks. Those are nice. Check out this Beatles double decker bus. All kinds of Pikachu and Pokemon plushies right here. And he's got all the Pokemon cards right here. I'm guessing it's still going strong because people are still buying them up. Yeah, even the plushies and the toys. And these guys look pretty cool. By Mezco and Gangsters Incorporated. Those are some good looking figures right there. I like those. Especially this guy, O'Brien. And you got the vintage dinosaur figures from the dinosaur show back in the early 90s. Which I love that show. Look at the old uh, Kmart price on there. 
$5.99. Mr. Gadget. You got Indiana Jones. Daffy Duck. And you've also got... I've got this whole set here. The uh, These were the re-releases of the classic G.I. Joes. And I remember them coming in those boxes. And they came with a little tissue wrapped around them too. And there's a Dudley Do-Right. That's very cool. I'm just loving all these figures here. There's Mighty Mouse. And Mr. Bill. And these are great. I might pick him up. This monster right here. He's a hard one to find. And he's also, I think it's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde right here. And then this one is the Mole People. He's 25, so they're not badly priced at all. But I love this Boris Karloff Frankenstein. Yeah, he looks pretty cool. The old, the old men here. Waldorf and uh, Statler right there. Those are cool. And, uh, of course, your board games. All your classics right here. Very nice. G.I. Joe, of course, from the 80s, right there. Of course, those are still going strong. And check out these old uh, Star Trek figures. It's pretty neat. Got a bunch of Spocks in there. Construct by Fisher Price. Wow. Very cool. Another G.I. Joe. And again, you definitely want to look carefully in all these booths here. Check out the Halloween, classic vintage Halloween costumes. So cool. And there's Boba Fett. Right there. Heading down this way. I'm just looking at everything. And look here. You get the $5 table. So you might find something to add to your collection. You got 5 for 20 That's not bad at all. You got some cool stuff here. You got to kind of sift through it. Yeah. The old VHS uh, Star Wars movies right there. So if you're looking for that five dollars that's not bad at all and you get fred flintstone right here in the xylophone that's pretty cool you pull him around he plays that xylophone more vintage star wars stuff up here on the top and check out the old canteens here for your lunchbox you got the adams family you got the peanuts and coal hop along cassidy lunchbox there here's jiminy cricket and the Beatles right here too. I'm just loving all these. Wizard of Oz. Got old uh, Ronald McDonald figure. And you got another figure from Ronald McDonald. Pretty cool. You got the R Gang figures. They are so awesome. Some more vintage stuff here. Oh, you got some of the open bagged Toy Biz Lord of the Rings figures here. Very nice. And you got this dude. If you know what that is, let me know. Oh, I love that little mini poster right there. Monster Go Home. That'd be cool in a frame. And you got more Lucy's here. All kinds of cool Star Wars Lucy's on here. Good way to save money too if you don't want to unbox and have this pay premium. Be sure to check out the Lucy's right here. We'll walk along here. And you got Transformers. More Transformers, which is very popular as usual. Oh, check this guy out right here. I've actually uh, been looking for him, too. He's very cool. I'm not quite sure about the new packaging. I'm not a big fan of it because you don't know what you're getting. And the reason I say that, you don't know if somebody switched something out in the store. Yeah, it can be a problem. <laughs> so you get home, you buy it, and somebody may have switched the figure out. And, uh, yeah, you didn't buy what you got. So, and of course, you get your uh, tons of uh, cards here and Hot Wheels cars. You got these nice sets right here that you can purchase. Get a few different cars in there. And then over here is mainly your card collectors right over here. More awesome Hot Wheels. Check these out. Yeah, over the years they've definitely changed. And I've noticed they've bought old ones back too. And some of them have like new paint schemes, things like that. Like right here, you get some of the classic boxing in there. The old blisters. You got the 50th anniversary ones up here. You get some good deals on Hot Wheel cars for sure. But then, of course, you get your rares like anything else. They're going to be expensive. And you got this huge Pokemon booth right here. I'm sure, he's got all kinds of cool cards in there. Some rares, things like that. Just real hard to find. Yeah, those are neat. But uh, I've seen him at a few shows. Oh, he's got some cool signed. 
cards right here of your favorite athlete. Baseball, football. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice framed one right there. And then, of course, you got your protector cases here. So you get those, get your card, come over here and get your protector case, both for your cars and also for your uh, magazines, comic books, things like that. So you've got all kinds of cool stuff here to protect your items when you purchase them. Some really nice choices here of your favorite wrestling figures. Check the Warlord out. He's pretty cool. And you got Razor Ramon. You also got the uh, Lex Luger right here. I think that's the variant right there. I've got him. Very nice. Look at all these wonderful figures here. Like, yeah, just all sorts of. Uh, oh, look at it. The big Darby Allen, Allen and uh, Sting Allen. dual pack right there. And Jerry the King Lawler is here today. So if you want to get this figure, get him to sign it, that'd be kind of cool. But look at all these wonderful belts he has here too. He's got a really nice belt collection. I don't know much about sports cards and collecting them. Uh, yeah, I just, I mean, I don't cover it much here at these shows just because of that. But they... They, if you are a collector of cards, definitely come to this show because there are a lot of vendors here. And as you can see, they're very, very busy. Uh, yeah, you get some really good deals, too, on your cards at these shows. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of them. And there's a vendor here that actually sells some of these classic Air Jordans. Got a pretty good uh, selection there. And this table here has got an array of different figures and dolls. And look here, got the Hogan's Heroes figures here. That's very nice. And this is from Slide uh, Sideshow, not Slideshow, Sideshow. Very cool. Oh, also get smart. <laughs> Love these. Uh, you got Clinton. You got Star Trek Barbie. Very nice. Yeah, just all kinds of cool figures here. And you also got this uh, test pilot uh, F-15C Eagle cockpit right there. That's very cool. And it looks like along this wall here, he's got all kinds of cool signed autograph photos. He's got Jeremy Bullock right there. That's pretty neat. Boba Fett. He's got uh, different basketball players, football players, wrestlers all along here. And of course, you got some of the wrestlers here too. You got Jerry the King right there talking to the fans. You got Jerry's been around for many, many years. You got Magnum TA. You got Jimmy Valiant over here. There's Magnum here. Magnum's a collector too, I think, from what I remember. Yeah, there's Magnum, and there's Jimmy Valiant right there. Yeah, it's good to see them here at the show. And yeah, check out this cool collection of old Atari 2600 games. These are awesome. All kinds of great titles. And this booth has a lot of cool wide variety of dolls all along here. Check that out. Check him out. Seeing a dog, but yeah, look at the uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves there. That's cool. Look at the Pez too. I'm just looking all through these. Yeah, <laughs> Cinderella there. There's the uh, stepmother and her stepsisters, and check out old vintage Santas right there. The little ornaments. That's pretty cool. We got the Charlie Brown and the gang right there. Nice little display for Christmas of them. And at the bottom, we get uh, the boxes full of other dolls. But I'm just going through all these vintage dolls here. That's pretty cool. And there's Ernie. He's trying to catch some sleep right there. You got Grover back there. And there's Snoopy. And then Mickey. And you got this huge, huge two boxes of uh, the Smurfs. Just tons of them. Love this old Toxic Avenger figure right here. That's pretty neat. By Super 7. Yeah. They also have these hook figures here. I think that's from the cartoon hook. Yeah, not the uh, movie. It's pretty neat. And Captain Hook there. And there's Peter Pan. And then Bill Jukes. And check out these old Spider-Man gloves for your costume. That's pretty cool. And uh, old uh, Playmore toys right here. Very cool. And Ninja Turtles. And their van. 
And Jeff's got a nice selection of the Star Wars bubblegum cards. Yeah, and they're in really good shape. They're all protected. So, yeah, be sure to pick up a protection case like this for your bubblegum cards. But, yeah, he's got a really nice selection here. So yeah, I was talking to the gentleman that owns this booth here. You gotta look carefully because you couldn't miss something. Because I was looking and I found Crackle right there. That's pretty cool. And I saw another booth that has Pop. Now I did find something very rare. The Star Wars Rebel Mission to Ormandel. Check that out. It's from the early 80s. Look at the artwork. It's fantastic. Yeah, these are not easy to find. You know, or you just don't see them anymore. And there's the back there. I'm not sure if that's related to the uh, Star Tours, but it uh, almost looks like it is because the shuttle kind of looks like the shuttle from Star Tours. Well, that was a lot of fun stopping by the uh, toy show here in Winston-Salem. And I found a few good things. I hope you enjoyed the little tour and uh, just seeing all the nostalgia, all the cool little toys, and uh, a lot of nice collectibles too. And some of the wrestlers were here, so that's pretty neat. But yeah, um, yeah, we'll have to wait till uh, next year. Well, not a whole year, but 2023 for the next show. And I think it's actually going to be here again in 2023. And it's always good to see the dealers. I've seen these guys for years. And uh, I love promoting their stuff. And I usually get some stuff, too, and I'll show you what I picked up. So I kind of get a smorgasbord of <laughs> figures here. Um, I got Prince uh, Albert right there. I don't know if you remember him from WCW. There he is there. He's all tacked up. You usually saw him with like a black t-shirt and black pants and stuff, but yeah, it's rare to see him like this with his uh, gear on like that. And then also, I got the uh, son of Frankenstein from Amigo right here. Love that to go with the collection I just purchased from a friend of mine. And then also the troll from Harry Potter. He's missing his club, but got him at a real good price. So yeah, I'll add him to the Harry Potter collection. And then also picked up the Universal Studios Monsters uh, werewolf of London, which I think is pretty cool to add to that collection too. But it could be Henry Hill. Maybe it's Henry Hill. Not like in Henry Hill on the uh, uh, Goodfellas. <laughs> so, yeah, because he, he didn't look anything like that. But check out the price there. $9.99. I really got a good price on this guy too. And he's adding to the collection of my Universal Monsters still in their packaging, which I love. Yeah, so yeah, this is my little pickup today at the toy show and i didn't get any magazines today there were a few that i was about to pick up and i was like you yeah, know let me get something different i saw some good deals on these so yeah pick these up and uh to add to the collection but yeah uh we will be back soon and it's christmas time and you can find some really good deals at these shows also great gifts you can buy as well and of course Connie doesn't do the toys and uh yeah i gotta get some more stuff for her for christmas time which that's probably going to be happening really really soon we got a few things for her already uh but uh yeah we're gonna get some more for her um so i hope if i don't see you before christmas hope you all have a merry christmas and uh we'll we'll definitely see you before the new year to probably sneak in a couple more videos for that as well probably next week but uh yeah you guys stay safe love y'all appreciate you subscribing to me and if you haven't, please do. It's free. And uh, more stuff's coming out really, really soon. I love doing this stuff for you guys. So, yeah, I, and just getting around and seeing the stuff that I used to see when I was younger and also sharing that with you. And the reason I go to the toy shows, too, because it just it's nostalgic and it brings back a lot of memories for, for me and um, hopefully for you guys, too, on some of those toys when you see them. Hey, I had that, which is pretty neat. All right, guys, you take care. Have a Merry Christmas, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>